Hello viewers, I'm Mygo and welcome to episode 9 of My Life in Football Manager. And if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out in getting these videos out there. But I just wanted to start this episode. I've had a, a very rapid development um, from the club deciding to go in a different direction. The current owner, John Hayden, um, this news article came through on when's that the 4th of August um, that he was looking to step aside and then on the 6th of August um, another message came through saying that the board had enforced a transfer embargo and that they were officially in talks to sell the club and then fast forward to the 7th of August which is where I'm currently at the moment and I get the message that the takeover is officially completed and so the new owner Sean Casey has come in and looks to get into his role as soon as possible. Personal message from the new owner saying that he thanks me for my patience. But sadly, no plans to provide the club with any investment at this stage. And then let's have a look at this for a brief update from the board. So a brief update from the board looks to be just the manager monthly performance. Doesn't look to be any different than where we were previously. Um, so I won't go through that and the transfer embargo has been lifted. Let's have a look to see what that's done with the finances. So it's wiped out any previous debt. We've now got 14,000 sat in the bank and the wage budget is still the same and we're slightly over budget. We're currently spending 3,000 euros. Um, so nothing has changed there other than the debt being wiped out, which is always good news. Now let's move on to what we're here for. And I said it was going to be the last game of the season that I brought you, but it would have been a dead rubber one against Finn Harps. Um, so I've moved on, played the first leg of the playoff semi-final. As you can see, we're 2-0 up. We brought back two away goals and we're about to play Dublin in the second part of the semi-final now. And then looking at this, it looks like good news for us. We're going to be playing Bray rather than Cabin Teeley, who we do have a poor record against. So we'll move on to the game. Hopefully um, Bray are the other winners. And then hopefully the next episode after this one will be the playoff final. But this is going to be the team looking to see us through to the playoff final. Bren continues in goal. Back four of McWilliams, O'Riordan, Okpalokpo and Harper. Ferdinand Anker in the midfield with Healy and Doyle ahead of him. And then wide men Crossley and Walsh supporting Murphy up top. Let's move into the dressing room and I think I will probably put a bit of pressure on the team but pump our fists and expect them to come back as a match finalists. They don't seem to be too bothered by that and we do get the fancy intro for this playoff game. As you can see 4-1-2-3 there and Dublin uh, slightly different at 4-2-3-1 which didn't bring much luck for them last time. Let's move on past the introduction and to be quite honest I'd be happy with a quiet game but we've got the first highlight Harper feeds Walsh into the area and is that a penalty? No, we've lost the ball but long ball forward Caesars getting the ball back through our and there picking up the loose ball and we've come into this in some good form uh, Murphy winning the ball there and I'd be very very happy if we can get to the playoff final and absolutely delighted if we can make it a promotion this year and see how we fare in the top league. Um, I don't think the difference between the Irish divisions is too different. But Doyle steps up. We did get a penalty at the second time. Doyle makes it 3-0 on aggregate and surely that is game over and should be a playoff final for us. But as I was saying, I don't think the difference in the Irish leagues is too vast. So hopefully we can be competitive again next year. Um, ideally, I'd like to go on and win the, the Irish First Division as quickly as possible. And then that can be the Irish sector done and we can move over looking to move into either Scotland or England would probably be the next challenge. But I suppose it depends what um, clubs come asking. And we've got a second penalty. Uh, I'll let Doyle take this again. He was successful the first time. 
Doyle's going to step up, step up, goes to the keeper's left, makes it 2-0. We're now 4-0 up on aggregate and we're absolutely thumping Dublin at this point, which is delightly, delight, delightful. I put my teeth back in there. Delightful for, to see. And we've not had too many chances though, um, but we are being clinical, which is always a good sign. McWilliams wins the ball back there, trying, not sure what he's trying there, he's trying to find Crossley down the right, but he was nowhere near him. But we do pick up the ball again, Harper with a long ball forward, finds Murphy, and it's a poor effort from Murphy, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, should be doing better there. But very, very happy with the way things are going. And remember, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, uh, it does help me out massively. And also... I forgot to mention this at the start of the video as well, but hopefully everyone's staying safe, having a happy festive period. Thank you for watching. It um, does make a big difference and your support does keep me going um, all the time that I'm doing this. But doubling going close there, I really want a clean sheet as well. If we can get through with two clean sheets, that'd be fantastic. Um, but as you can see, a lot of the team getting complacent there. Um, I will praise them, uh, which has motivated them. How long for? Who knows? But we don't want to be complacent, giving any goals away, giving Dublin a chance to get back into this. But we'll do our usual substitution around the 60th minute. And just as I feared, Dublin have got one back. Now, for them to get four back would be some turnaround. And we would completely have to collapse for that to happen. But let's make our substitutions. Um, Harper not having a great, both fullbacks actually, McWilliams and Harper not having great games. McWilliams is an easy one. Um, and I think I will take Harper off as well. A uh, bit of an unusual one. Doyle can actually play at the back there. Um, not ideal, but I think because both fullbacks are not playing well, we'll move. Doyle to left back, bring Manning on as the Mazala. And hopefully that'll just shore up the defence a little bit. And just see this game out now. So that's all, all we are aiming to do now is just manage the game, see the game out, get through to the final. Brain collects well there from a deep free kick. And a uh, long ball forward, rather aimless, and he's giving the ball away, put us back under pressure again. And Doubling now with two back, and they've still got half an hour. That complacency could come back to bite us here. Two back with 20 minutes to go is uh, not much when they've got the momentum. But Healy heads over. We had a chance there to stop the momentum, and we haven't taken it. And I am going to make. Do I, I am going to make a substitution. Do I make a defensive one, man? That's the question. I think. Well, Keep this probably as it is, uh, formation wise, and I think we'll just probably take Murphy off. Uh, give Leeburn a run out up front. And what I want to do actually is change this around a bit. Move the playmaker further forward, have Ferdinand just focusing on a, a almost an anchor role in front of that defence. But again, it's Dublin coming forward here. But Leeborn, I thought was going to tackle him, decided to run straight past the player and the ball. Dublin, another ball into the box, and we don't deal with it. And that's a third for Dublin. Oh my, oh my God, this this could be the collapses of all collapses. And I'm going to demand more from the team. We've just got to see this game out. We've got ten minutes. All we've got to do is sit out for ten minutes. We've got the ball here, Crossley coming down the right, had a good first game in the first leg, um, and he's lost the ball. Scored our first two goals there in this tie, Crossley, but he's been rather absent today, and Dublin yet again coming forward, and we just can't deal with their balls into the box at the moment. They lump it forward, and nobody's marking their striker, and oh, thankfully that's been disallowed. I think what I'm going to do is... Um, Drop the team back a little bit. Just have them defending a little bit wider. Because we have to do something there. 
they're desperate to get back into this and we're not showing much metal at all in the closing stages of this game. And it's again doubling with an attack. They've got into the area. Thankfully, we blocked the first attempt and the second up clock with a fantastic header away there. Leeburn trying to counter, and he's not got any support. He's going to have to do this alone. He tries to go alone, but a bit of a tame effort there. Um, he was never really going to score without anything special coming from that. And we've got the ball again deep in our half. Ferdinand clears. Leeburn picks up the loose ball, gives it to Crossley. Crossley looking to do something down the right, but runs straight into defenders there and gets himself sent off, um, trying to win the ball back with a horrific tackle. And deservedly sees red. Um, he's going to be a big miss for the final. Although not if he plays like today. And There's not really much I can do here. I think what... What we'll do is just play with two pressing forwards, move Walsh further forward. I know he can't really do it, but have him as pressing forward on defence. I've got 30 seconds now to see how Reardon with a header clear. I'm surprised Dublin are not just lumping this into the box. It's served them well, they've got three goals back. We've got 15 seconds. Five. Oh, just please, just blow the whistle, referee. It's doubling with another ball. Okpalok for heads clear at this time. Healy picks up the loose ball and just hit it into the corner. Please do anything. Just blow the whistle, referee. Ball's gone out of play. Blow your whistle. He's still not blowing the whistle. We're now 95 minutes on the clock coming up to... And we've given the ball away. And finally the ref sees some sense and... Let's us through. Um, I don't know what to make of that. We started so brightly. Four goals up in the tie to the good. And then we either became complacent or I don't know what happened. But thankfully we made it through. And I think I will go with the assistant's recommendation. Praise them for getting to the final. Overall they have done a good job. And let's not forget to... Um, Reprimand Crossley for getting sent off. And who do we meet in the final? And I'll tell you what, it was a close game in the other game as well. Kevin Teeley coming back 3 1 on the night, but 4 3 to Bray on aggregate. And we do go on to meet Bray in the final. So that will be the next episode. So thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for future videos. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next time.